Welcome to our tape. Today we're going to talk about the Link system, Victron's cleanest and safest way to distribute power throughout your system. So starting off, I mean, basically I want to talk about the Lynx power end. This is going to be a, a good option to collect any of your battery banks together so that you can combine them into a single distribution bus. It's got a positive and a negative bus bar rated at a thousand amps. One of the really nice things about the Lynx power end and the system in general is that on the Lynx power end, you've got staggered positive and negatives. And what I mean by that is that the positive and the negatives come in on top of each other, making it more compact than if you had two separate bus bars alone. It comes with a cover with cable exits for four positions on it and a central ground. When you remove that using the two screws, you'll notice the positive bus bar on the top and the negative bus bar on the bottom, separated by four plastic separators that can either be removed or used to add additional safety. On the left hand side of the unit you'll notice the positive and negative tabs protruding from the case. These come with silicone coverings that can be removed to bolt units together or so that you can use this as an additional connection point. Typically on the negative bus bar you're going to use the connectors that are beneath the plastic enclosures for your loads and the central lug will be used for a grounding point. On the far right of the unit, you'll notice two studs, one on the positive and one on the negative side. These are used to link units together, and that can simply be done by removing the plastic covering on the far right hand side, which is going to allow access to these bolts with the tabs from the next unit. One of the reasons that you might want to consider a power in over a distributor, which commonly we see to combine batteries as well, is the fact that the power in doesn't have fuses built into it like the distributor. One of the main advantages of this is that you can add the fuses external to this. For batteries, that's really important, specifically with lithium. Lithium has a lower resistance than lead batteries, which means under a catastrophic event, that's gonna push way more amperage through that short than a lead counterpart. Mega fuses, which are found in the Lynx distributor, don't have the ability to deal with the same amperage that other fuses do. So typically what we'll see is we'll see a Lynx power in combining all of the batteries together, but there'll be a fuse in between the batteries and the Lynx power in to meet that rating for lithium. Other than that, the Lynx power in, there's really not a whole lot to it. It's just a set of bus bars. In the middle of the Lynx system, we've got two options. One of them is gonna be the Lynx BMS, one of them is gonna be the Lynx shunt. The Lynx BMS is our premium choice for most systems. The reason being is that it's a closed loop system from Victron, meaning that the BMS actually takes control of your charge parameters within the system. It also has a shunt built into it. Currently, the Lynx BMS comes in a 500 amp version and a 1000 version. With the addition of the Lynx Smart BMS 1000, which is an M10 model, they have also produced an M10 line of Lynx power ins and Lynx distributors. Because Victron BMSs can only be paired with Victron batteries, this means a lot of the programming is already figured out for you. You've really only got to set the voltage, capacity, and how many batteries you have in parallel. There's a few other options, but it makes it much more simple than having an external shunt that you would then have to program all of the parameters for. The Lynx BMS also has a contact inside with a pre-charged circuit. So if we're using a higher voltage battery bank, like 48 volt, it has the ability to pre-charge that circuit for you. At the bottom of the unit, you'll notice the communication ports that are used to communicate with the Lynx distributor. You'll also notice the Phoenix contact at the bottom that has 11 positions on it, which has auxiliary power out, allow to charge, allow to discharge, your relay, and then your remote port. Beneath this, you'll notice two VU CAN ports, and then your BMS M8 circular connector ports as well. The tabs on the left-hand side are used to connect up to either a Lynx distributor or a Lynx power in, and the two bolts internal on the right-hand side are where the tabs of either a distributor or a power in would come in and connect up to this unit. These all give the BMS a modular approach in terms of how it can protect the system. If you want something a little more simple and don't require the BMS specific to Victron batteries, then we've got the Lynx shunt. The Lynx shunt comes standard at 1000. It also operates on the VECAN network and is going to distribute all of that information up to your GX device. Inside the Lynx shunt, you will find on the left hand side the two protruding tabs which are used to link it to a Lynx power in or a distributor. On the right hand side, you will see the bolts used to connect it up to another power in or distributor. You'll also find in the middle at the top the CNN fuse holder 
and then down at the bottom that is the shunt built into the unit. You'll also notice two connections to be used to connect up two distributors for fuse monitoring. And then at the very bottom, you'll notice the two VE CAN ports built in to communicate with the GX device. Now we've got the Lynx distributor. The Lynx distributor we use in every system, regardless of whether we're using Victron batteries or not. So the main difference between the Lynx distributor and the power in is the fact that the Lynx distributor has four mega fuse holders built into it. This is really handy because it's gonna handle all of your main distribution to your main components. So in a typical system in the RV world, it might handle your inverter charger, your solar charge controller, your alternator charging, and then your DC loads. Opening up the Lynx distributor, you'll also find the tabs protruding on the left-hand side to connect it up to other devices. You'll find the same connection points on the right-hand side to link another distributor. You'll notice the positive bus bar up the top, as well as the negative bus bar down the bottom. However, in the center now, we have four mega fuse holders. This is obviously where you would insert the mega fuses for your overcurrent protection for the system. You'll notice underneath those mega fuse holders a monitoring board. This is where you would connect up the connections to your BMS for fuse monitoring. The negative and positive bus bar is also separated with plastic connectors, just like the Lynx Power In. These can be either utilized or removed depending on your need. An important note is that all of these nuts need to be torqued to the appropriate spec. That includes both of the nuts on the mega fuse holders in the middle, the top and the bottom one. These can also be bolted onto each other to expand the amount of distribution that you need. So up to four Lynx distributors can be bolted together while remaining communication. It's also gonna be able to link the distributor to either the shunt or the BMS, which is gonna give LED fuse monitoring on the front of it. When paired with the Lynx BMS, you can also gain that fuse data over the Victron Connect app over Bluetooth. If you're not gonna use the distributor with the BMS, then we make a shim plate that allows you to directly bolt on a pro installer switch as well as the SmartShunt IP65 or the BMV712 directly onto it, therefore eradicating all of your cabling and making a cleaner, more compact install. The previous configuration that I was talking at, you can see up here, which has that pro installer switch already attached with the shunt already mounted to the Lynx distributor. You can find this kit on our website at rtech.energy. As mentioned earlier, the Lynx distributor does have LED indicators to indicate whether a fuse has been blown or not. If you don't have this paired with a Lynx Smart BMS or a Lynx shunt, this won't be available. However, there is a workaround and if you need that workaround, then please get in contact with one of our staff. Thanks for tuning in today to talk about Victron's Lynx system. If you've got any questions, then please reach out to our staff. And as always, we'll leave all of the links in the description below.